Hey there guys and girls. Right then, first things first. The things you are about to see in this video are a bit naughty. They may not confirm to electrical standards. May not confirm to electrical standards. Everything in this video we have done safely because we all knew it was we, in, we, a, control in a control environment. Yeah, in a control environment even though this is a mess. <laughs> so, um, we know we know that it was dangerous and naughty, hence the plug down there, which is a bit naughty, you just saw it. Shh, you didn't see that. Um, but as a little sneak peek of what of things to come in this video, I'm just gonna just gonna do this. Did you see that? Maybe another one just to just make another sure. one just to make sure? Just a quick yeah, one? Go on then. Whoops, what Whoops. was that? What was that guys and girls? <laughs> well, well, well. Continue on. This is maybe a long video. We have got some nice things to show you. Enjoy! Hey there guys and girls. Oh, that was a bit of a shame. My memory card just died on me on this camera. I hope this one doesn't do it while I'm recording. I've reduced the quality down to 720p so hopefully it could be fine now. Right. We've just got this through the post and uh, you may remember that I was on about the inverter. Well, this is it. It's just come from... Uh, from China and now we've just opened it up we got to that part and then the camera died the SD card died so if you want to continue opening it up we'll uh, you know we'll, uh, we'll we'll get on on with it but that's where the customers put the boroscope through <laughs> Boroscope? Yeah, the like little pinhole camera thing. Oh, right. So they did inspect this and ripped me off. Yeah. Yes, coming to the UK, guys and girls, um, customs. Anything that comes into the UK gets another 20% charge on it. Yep. And that's, that's shipping as well. The shipping also has to be charged hacks. So, say something coming to the UK and shipping, you know, posting and packaging, and the item cost was £100. The actual cost of it coming into the UK that you would have to pay another twenty pounds on top of it, because uh, the UK is pretty much a robbing country, and it uh, it goes mad with taxes here. I could rant and rave on it about it all day, but best not to. Yeah, I don't want to get haters on my channel. Yeah, more free wood. Lovely. Oh, is there it is. Oh, look at this. It's heavy. It is. 60 odd kilo. 60 odd kilos. Like your battery terminals in the top of that, the yeah, uh, plastic couch. Shield covers. Wowie. Just well, look that, at that, guys and girls. That's a nice That's 12 kilowatts, that. Or up to 30 kilowatts for 20 seconds max. There's a surge. Has it had a bit of a bump? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, no surprise there. Probably the customs wreck wrecking it. Yeah, I bet. Chiseling into it. Yeah. Because so I bet they had a look inside it to make sure it wasn't importing illegal things into the UK. Yeah, they're always suspicious with heavy parcels. Let's just have a feel of it. Damn customs. <coughs> it weighs a lot, believe me. Oh, I tried to move it. Crikey. That's where the transformer is here. Yeah, right there. And that. It is heavy. There you go, that's just the UK shipping guys and girls. I don't think it was DHL's fault because that's who we had it shipped with. I bet it was customs. I bet it was just the customs. I bet it was completely intact until it got here. Yep. Until it got to the UK. I tell you, it was arriving really fast with DHL until it got stopped. Yeah, until it gets stopped in customs and customs are like, ah, uh, no, then we want more money for from about you. Another five days. Yeah. And That's they it. Me a fortune. That's it. But customs charges. At least we got it eventually. We're gonna have a look at this, and we'll. Uh, Sorry about the wind noise, guys and girls. We'll fire it up and show you it later. Hey, guys and girls. We've got another. Uh, we've got. We've got the video up here. My brother's here, just uh, making a naughty boy plug, which is a plug socket on each end. Naughty, naughty. We're gonna plug it into this bad man. 
Well, we're not going to do a plug on each end, it's just going to be bare wires on this because that's how it connects into this yeah, thing. And then into there. And then into the plug socket. Just toggle that switch result there, that breaker. Just just to show everybody that that turns the garage on and off. There you go. There we there go. go. If you look that down the garden, the old garage. if you look down the garden as well, turn it back on again. It turns the shed there you on. There shed on down there as well is also through? connected into this. So that turns the garage on and off. The garage currently has running a radio, a light, a and light down there. Two 150 watt floodlights now. Yeah, that'll be running too. They'll both be running. And there's the freezer as well. So we're gonna have a go with this. We've got a mixture here of um, lead acids. Uh, absorbent glass mats and gel cell. What a mixture! Doesn't matter, but it all works. 48 volts in total. Um, we're gonna isolate that while I work on it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, look, it powers up and everything. Wow, it's got some help. Wow, it's got one hell of a capacitor set up in it. Bloody ass, hasn't it? Good lord, how big are those caps in that thing? Come on, I want to work on it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, he, he's, uh, well, it's still going, look. He's like, well, there's a bit of power left in there. You're making your mind up. I don't want to shock. Yeah, I don't think it was kicking in there anyway. Nah. I imagine this will make a nice noise. Oh, oh that's mm. We need a string of hair dryers to be run off it. Yeah. Half half rectified heating well heating elements. Yeah, they love they, them. That should make a real, right right nice sound. That. <laughs> Why you do this? <laughs> it's like half my sine wave is not used. Why you do this? This is a pure sine wave inverter, by the way. Pure sine wave. And I wouldn't touch anything else because uh, modified damage ah. stuff. And they waste a lot of power. Modified sine waves just make in inductive loads produce heat yeah. and everything is pretty much inductive. And it makes heating elements sing ever so slightly. Mm. Right, that's that. And now we'll shut off the breaker. Oh dear, no lights! Um, plug it in and see what happens. Plug it into the power sockets. Alright, and we're going to backfeed the garage. Backfeeding. Turn that off first. It's going to make it's a good spark when we connect that power plug it's back make up a again. Big spark when I connect this up, and in fact, I want to do it on this side because I don't want to knack my terminals. That's it. All right, watch this, guys and girls. Big spark time. Way. It was a bit more last time, but yeah. All the power. Awful connections and all varying cable sizes. <laughs> but let's have a look. Power to the people. Oh yeah. What's it say? Oh, oh listen to that. And ho, 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 we have oh. we have power. Look at that. Oh wow. And we're using 0.3% there Point. of, of the output of this. And that's running 250 watts worth of floodlights. 0 0.003. Alex. Ah. Yeah. Sorry for to go around. <laughs> Wait. 0.003% of this 12 kilowatt inverter. And that is everything. <laughs> That's everything running off this. In this garage, running off them. Now these cables are a little underrated. I wonder what noise we get on the ODM van. Let's turn that down because I'm not supposed to have music playing on my channel. Right. Let's watch them cables. Yeah, let's stick this to the ODM band and see what sounds we get. See if we get any noise coming through, shall we? Let's have a listen. Ah! That sounds like inverter sound noise to me, that does. <laughs> How many amps we draw in? Let's have a look. From the batteries. Well, it makes a little bit of RF noise on, um, on AM bands. What's the amps? Oh, it's on AC, hang on. DC, man! There we go. So we're drawing about 11 odd amps at 48 volts, or about 50 volts because they're all fully charged. 
We might be a knackered battery somewhere there, that black one probably. Yeah, it's not very good that but black it's one. It's just being used to get some voltage up. <coughs> so them are them absorbent glass mats are huge batteries. And there you go. They last forever they will. Now we could <coughs> have a We could have the flu fan going. Yeah. So this thing would run the the compressor. Yeah. This thing will fire it up. Yeah. It would like not even look at it. Shouldn't it? Meant to handle 30 kilowatt surge. 30 kilowatt surge. 36 actually. You don't like wow. them cables that are on it, but. I think we ought to go and give it a proper test. Let's go and get my homemade compressor. Now, this whole garage is back dead now. Yep. No tricks anywhere. No All tricks. of this is isolated from the house, which is where the power is fed from. Right. We want to get this happy little fellow here, which I built. If you want to so much as to... Oh no, the plug's not in, in bits. Why is it in bits? Oh, doesn't matter, we'll uh, stick a fuse in it. Yeah. Alright, pull it out. Oh, you wheel it into the back room of the garage, I've got a camera here. have to watch out that. Let me find... Oh, it's still got the hose connected to it, has it? Yeah, yeah. clip it off. Disconnect it's that. It's going to get in the way. Yeah. Single-handedly. Yes. How'd you do it? There you go. Right, there you go. Go for it. I'll probably edit all this crap out because you don't want to see this bit, do you guys? There's another plug down there. The, the a back bit off. Boring, changing a <laughs> right, this bad man here uses about five kilowatts on startup. That's a lot. If not more. If not more. To find out the starting current on these, you look at the locked rotor amps. And the locked rotor amps on this is insanely high. You do not want to mess with the locked rotor amps on this thing, it's a lot. My amazing pipe work. But this it's should look at it. Thing. They shouldn't think anything of it. So, check the fuse out of this plug. It does have the habit of popping 13 amp fuses. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm going to. Um, Meant to start up off a contactor, isn't it? This is, yeah, supposed to. But don't don't fire it up yet because we've got the tanks not connected up. You got the plug cap for it. I don't know where it is. Just just plug it in and stand like back. Yeah. Yeah. It should be safe so long as you stand back. Right. We're ready. Well, are we ready? Are we? Just plug it in. Just be careful because it has not got a back on the on the plug. Because right, we're naughty like that, Lord. Should we go? We'll fire it up. Watch this, guys and girls. Oh. 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 Why you do this? Oh, battery low. Oh, we've got a crap battery. Oh no, battery low. Crap battery. It's that one. I wish we went to the scrapyard. Oh, I've got a different one do that now until uh, we reset it, it won't give us any power. That's a shame. What a troll. Tell you what, let's try and power it up now. See if it tries to power it up. Oh, 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 oh. Don't like them batteries. No. Damn. No, it's not going to do it. <sighs> reset it again. No, it's turned off. Oh, unless... Unless what? How about we've blown the fuse in the plug? Oh! Oh yeah, it's, it's only, only a 13 amp fuse. Yeah. Oh yeah, I bet that's what's happened then. Leave it off then. Leave it off, alright. Yeah, yes, yeah. oh, alright then, I'll put, I'll have to put the light on my phone. Yeah. On my camera, so... It's all cap energy. Alright guys and girls, we're just going to replace this fuse. So I will... Wow, loads of capacitance. Oh, it's still going, look. Yeah. To watch out because it'll be live. Right, we're going to uh, replace the cap in this, the, the sorry, the cap, the uh, the fuse in this plug. Yeah. 